Hey Libra, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your last week of May general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. I first want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes yesterday. Well, my birthday was not yesterday. I just did a birthday discount reading sale. My birthday is May 29th. So thank you guys so much either way for your beautiful sentiments, your blessings, your prayers over my, my new cycle. I thank you guys so much. It did not go unseen and unnoticed. I thank you. I claim that energy moving forward into my actual day of my cycle because you know what? This is going to be a beautiful cycle. I, I claim it's going to be a beautiful cycle. And I thank you guys so much for putting that out into the atmosphere in advance. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's jump into your reading. When I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was All Woman by Lisa Stansfield. Lisa is an Aries, so you can be dealing with an Aries, Summer Rising, Venus individual, or a specific situation that happened in Aries season, okay? Now, in the bridge and certain lyrics of the song, she says, I may not be a lady, but I'm all woman. But what I heard intuitively is, I may not be your lady, but I'm all woman. The message that I'm getting with this, flip the flop it, put it where it applies if you are a male and this applies to you, um, with the I may not. And again, she says in the song, I may not be a lady, but I'm all woman. But I heard I may not be your lady. In other words, some of you guys may have realized that somebody's playing games. They were treating you like you guys were in a relationship. You guys were doing things like a relationship. But it's like this person has not solidified things, has not officially said, yes, we are in, in, in a relationship. We are a, a couple, you know. And I feel like for some of you all, you're like, you know, I may not be your lady. And, and I mean, you may have kind of got over on me or you may have played in my face. But guess what? I'm not with that. I'm a woman. I'm a man. I'm somebody who knows their worth. I know my value. Do that with somebody else. Because in the part where she says, I'm all woman, it's like, you're treating me like a child. Because even if you think about children, you know how they tell children, hey, uh, young lady, sit down. That, that, that could apply to a child also. You're like, I'm not a child. I'm an adult. So treat me as such. Treat me with a certain level of respect. And that's what I'm getting with this energy. Like a lot of you are like, give me the respect that I deserve. Don't, don't play games with me. And I feel like somebody on an emotional level, as far as relationships, romantic, this person has been playing games. And I feel like that's being addressed at this time. So let's see what we get for Libra, Sun, Horizon, Venus, individuals. And I keep wanting to say Aries. So some of you guys definitely dealing with Aries or something that happened in Aries season. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the Justice card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers. Currently, at the bottom of the deck, you got the Queen of Cups. King or Queen, you guys know, again, your status. You know your royal status, and you're walking away from someone if they don't know it. If they're not acknowledging it, you're going to walk away, and you're going to give your cup to somebody else. Dogs talk about companionship and loyalty. So it was somebody that you were giving your utmost devotion to, and they just weren't giving you that same thing back. And here's the thing. Some of you guys have womaned up, manned up, and you walked away from that situation, or you're walking away, okay? So, again, somebody could be born in the year of the dog also. I'm also getting that somebody could have twins. If you notice here, she's also pregnant. So this could be someone that you have a child or children with. You got the chariot. So something with cancerian energy very strong for a lot of you all. So let's see what we get for Libra, Sun, Rising, Venus, individuals. You have the Eight of Cups walking away from things that no longer emotionally associate with you. Something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling. Give me one second. My apologies. Again, you're walking away from things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling, okay? The moon, the moon talks about your emotions and feelings. You see how he's looking up at the moon like, I have feelings for this person, but I got to leave it behind if they don't give me the energy that I'm, I've been giving them, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get the Justice card. Hmm. Now, I want you guys to see this. All the cards are upright. There's absolutely no reversal. When we just passed your card. There's absolutely no reversals in this deck, but you have this right here. The Eight of Cups. I'm mean, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles is your actual nine to five putting in the work. I feel like with this being in reverse, you guys are no longer putting in any effort and energy to deal with this person or this situation anymore. You're done with it. Also, we are in a universal year eight. So I feel like this will be the year that you guys are cutting off people who do not show you the same in return. You got two eights here. Eight plus eight is 16. One plus six is seven. So within a week's time, some of you guys are making a decision about walking away from something or you already did. You could have known this person from your actual workplace, like you met them at their workplace or they met you at yours because you, you keep getting all this pinnacle stuff here, okay? 
And some of you guys are like, I'm moving on. I'm, I'm definitely getting that energy. So again, we want the Justice card and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, there you go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Visuals. So right in front of you, you have hmm, the King of Swords. Now this could be your energy. I feel like a lot of you all like, you know what? I'm all, like she said, I may not be a lady, but I'm all a woman, all man. Like, this person is in their power. I'm not a child. You're not going to play with me as such. Play with children, not with me, okay? So, this king of swords, I feel like, you know, this person really going to regret. <laughs> they going to regret trying to play in your face. I strongly suggest they find somebody else to play with, okay? I keep hearing that over and over again. Right up under there, you have the ten of wands, carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. For a lot of y'all, you realize that you were carrying the weight of this connection on your own. And I feel like you're cutting this person off or you just recently did. Now, if you already cut this person off and you're wondering like, okay, well, why are we talking about past stuff? I feel like because when it shows up, they're saying like, this is something that you need to heal. Or it's something that you're cur currently dealing with right now. But I also feel like somebody has their eyes on you and you guys do have new love coming in. Okay. So let's see what we get for the king of swords. Eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of blue unexpectedly. Again, I'm going to say either this person that you kind of cut ties with is going to try to come back and reach out to you or you're delivering some messages telling this person like, you know, I'm done with this. And I feel like that's you because that sword is up. So I feel like you're cutting somebody off. I also feel like somebody who is expressing, who is interested in you, somebody's been watching you on social media. Even if you don't post a lot, they're like watching your social media to see if you post or to look at old pictures of you. I've had people do this like, Pictures that's like 38 weeks old. They'll go all the way to the very end of my post and they'll start liking those pictures. So somebody is expressing interest all of a sudden out of the blue. Okay. Let's part the deck. Yeah. The devil. Toxicity. You feel like this is a toxic situation here and you're moving smooth up out of there. You see the wines are not going towards the devil. Away. So you guys are moving away from something that you felt was very toxic. Some type of connection that you were bound to by contract. Now that contract... Literally soul contract, but also if you have a child or children with this person, that's the contract also. Also, the justice card that talks about legality. So you can be married to this person, engage this person, have property with this person. Like you and this person could be on a lease or something together. Um, but somebody's saying they want to cut out. Somebody wants out of uh, out of this situation because it feels too heavy. Okay. So you have the seven of wands in reverse. So you got the um, you got the ten here, the seven here. Seven of wands, gardeners, defensiveness, feeling protective, blockages, putting up boundaries in reverse. A lot of you all feel like you let down your guard and you let down your boundaries and what it is that you require in the connection for this person, only for them to you know put everything on you, put everything on your shoulders. Again, I feel like you guys are like being very strong, being very assertive, being very. Um, direct with your request and what it is you will and will not deal with and i feel like in the past you didn't that's why you had all these damn wands on your back because you just kept taking it time and time again just dealing with it hoping that this person would change or realize what they have right in front of them but i feel like you're like if you don't realize it, i'm gonna make you realize it okay so let's get a clarify for this king of swords clarify for the king of swords for libra summer rising venus individuals okay you got two cards so i'm taking them so you got the page of wands and then you have the magician. Mm -hmm. Now you see how they came out sideways. Page of wands. This this to me with that little pimp cane, this little fedora, this little cape. That gave me the vibe that you guys were dealing with somebody who was a bit of a player. They didn't know what they wanted. They just wanted Because see, this is someone who's wrong. And I get the wrong because I still got growing and spanning to do. You know, I'm not ready for anything secure. I'm not ready for anything. I still need to feel the world out. I still need to see what this, what life is all about. And then to have the Ten of Wands being clarified by the Magician, Gemini, we're in Gemini season, Gemini Virgo energy also. Um, I feel like, again, because it did come out sideways, the Magician is a master manifesto. They can make you see whatever it is they want you to see. They can make an outcome, the outcome that they desire. But being sideways, it's like this person desires you in their life, but the way that they wanted to. They wanted you to be. They, they weren't straightforward. Because, again, you see how the cards flipped out sideways. They weren't straightforward with their intentions and what it was they were trying to manifest with you. And I feel like a lot of you all, you're like, absolutely not. I'm not dealing with it. I'm cutting you out. You ain't brought nothing but heaviness into my life where this situation feels heavy. It feels like I'm carrying the grunt of everything by myself. You out here still wandering, um, waving your wand everywhere, doing whatever you want to do, entertaining multiple things. And also, the magician is powerful. So for you, as far as you are concerned, I feel like you guys are asserting your power. 
you know, and, and because it came out sideways initially, it was like you weren't in your power initially. But I feel like this go around, you're like, absolutely not. I'm dropping these wands. I'm asserting my power. My self-esteem is higher than it's ever been. That yellow makes me think about the solar plexus chakra. That's your self-esteem, willpower. Okay. I feel like you guys are totally in your boot right now as far as your self-esteem, your confidence, your self-assertiveness. Your, your, you feel more sure about yourself now. And you're realizing that you're not entertaining anything that makes you feel small. That's what I'm getting for you all today. Okay? So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.